welcome to the project demonstration of industrial power control by integral cycle switching without generating harmonics so in our project we are going to control the power by using the integral cycle switching with the help of the triac so you are using the bt136 triac so here the main application of this project is while we are controlling the voltage to this induction motor uh, we need to provide the low harmonics AC signal then only we can uh, get the maximum life cycle from this induction loads so for normally uh, basic uh, resistive loads like incandescent bulbs and all we can provide the normal cycle of uh, AC signal in square wave but coming to the induction motors we need to provide the AC signal in sine wave and that, that too while we controlling the voltage to that we need to provide the low harmonic signal to that then only we can increase the life cycle to that we can increase the more life cycle to the induction motor so we are using capacitor driven induction motor to control the like AC signal to this one and uh, we are using BT, BT136 triac and to that in this board we can see the two major components one is the BT136 as a triac board and MOC3021 is optically diac so why because in order to trigger this triac we need to provide the AC voltage as a trigger pulse so but the microcontroller can't provide the AC signal directly it can provide only DC signal so we need a component which will take a, a DC signal and trigger the AC signal so that is nothing but MOC3021 is optically diac and also main application is if uh, any short circuit occurred at this AC section then our controller won't get damaged only this IC will get damaged so that we can save the remaining major electronic components by isolating the triac and the microcontroller so here we are going to control the speed of this induction motor by controlling the voltage by providing the signal inputs 0 1 2 3 and the same firing angle will be displayed on the 16 by 2 LCD screen so here the whole uh, power supply is to the system is 230 volts AC input and that 230 volts AC input is parallelly divided to the AC motor and to the transformer to the AC motor through the track was connected in series and the transformer will step down the 230 volts AC to 12 volts of AC and that will be converted into 5 volts DC with the help of this regulated power supply board as it has the four, uh, 3 stages one is the rectification to convert the AC to pulsating DC filtration to remove the pulses and provide as a smooth DC of 12 volts and uh, 7805 regulator which will take 12 volts DC input and provide as the 5 volts constant DC output as the operating voltage of our microcontroller is 5 volt so for that purpose we need to regulate that 12 volts DC to 5 volts DC and once we provide that it start reading input from the two input modules one is keyboard so to set the firing angle another is zero crossing so here the zero crossing plays the major role so that we can detect the when we need to on and off the triac so whenever the AC waveform starts we should know the whenever the zero crosses in the AC signal then only we can control the on time of the motor so that we can control the speed of the motor parallel means the firing angle should be controlled whenever, whenever the AC signal starts so it has the rectifier and transistor rectifier will convert the AC to DC and that to pulsating DC whenever the pulse starts controller will get the trigger from this BT uh, sorry BC547 transistor then based on this firing angle selection it will control the firing angle to that motor so the firing angle is 0 to 180 degrees so let us see demonstration on the power supply to the board then welcome message will be displayed on the LCD screen so as a firing angle is 180 means motor is off so place it in firing angle 0 full speed so we are not going to off the triac in any case that's why full speed was given to that and 60 degrees so we set the levels in four levels and 120 and zero totally off so in this manner we are going to control the voltage without providing and without generating any harmonics why because when we are controlling a triac with the zero crossing detector so we are exactly controlling the on time of AC signal so that there is no chance to generate or get the harmonics low speed speed uh, 2 level and high speed
right so in this project input from this one based on the selection of the firing angle controller will trigger the triac based on the on time signal whenever the ac wave form starts as you know that ac wave form is starting from 0 to 90 degrees 90 to 180 so same for the negative wave cycle also so in the coming to the positive off cycle when we need to control that positive off cycle whether it should be 0 to 60 or 60 to 90 or 90 to 120 or 180 so based on the selection angle our controller will control that signal to the triac board